Is diesel fuel the same as kerosene? This question brings up an interesting discussion about fuels that, on the surface, appear similar but have distinct uses and properties. Let's dive into it. First off, diesel fuel and kerosene are both derived from petroleum, which is why they're often mentioned in the same breath. However, the process of refining crude oil into these two types of fuel separates their paths, leading to different characteristics and uses. Kerosene, for instance, is a lighter fuel compared to diesel. It's traditionally used in heating and lighting applications. If you've ever seen those old-school lanterns at a campsite or used a kerosene heater during a cold winter in Portland, Oregon, then you're familiar with kerosene's practical applications. Its lighter nature makes it burn cleaner than diesel, which is why it's favored for indoor heating purposes. On the other hand, diesel fuel is heavier and oilier. It's specifically formulated to fuel engines, particularly those in larger vehicles such as trucks, buses, and some cars. Diesel engines are revered for their efficiency and torque, making diesel fuel an essential component for transportation and heavy machinery. Portland's roads are filled with diesel trucks, underscoring this fuel's importance in commerce and transportation infrastructure. One of the primary differences between the two is their flashpoints, or the lowest temperature at which they can vaporize to form an ignitable mixture in the air. Kerosene has a higher flashpoint than gasoline, making it safer to store and handle, but still lower than that of diesel which means it takes a higher temperature for diesel to reach that ignitable mix. This does not mean you can use them interchangeably. Using kerosene in a diesel engine, for example, might seem like a functional hack in emergencies due to their similar properties. However, this can lead to reduced engine performance and potential damage over time because diesel engines are optimized for the viscosity and energy content of diesel fuel, not kerosene. Moreover, the regulations concerning the use of these fuels, such as taxation and environmental standards, vary considerably. In some places, including Portland, the use of red-dyed diesel fuel is restricted to non-road vehicles and equipment due to tax exemption status, which doesn't apply to kerosene. To sum it up, despite their similarities and shared origin, diesel fuel and kerosene serve different purposes in our daily lives. Their chemical properties, applications, and the engines or systems designed to use them highlight the importance of understanding these distinctions. So, while you might find them side by side at a fuel depot or discussed in the same chapter of a chemistry book, remember, they are not the same.